Good day, viewers. Welcome to the Swakam Museum. I'm Rigo Redick, technical assistant and uh, restorer here. Um, let me take you through the shipping and marine exhibit of our museum. So behind me, you can see the research vessel RSV Meteor. This ship was built by the crew of the original Meteor in 1926 on board of the actual Meteor using whatever surplus supplies, cardboards, pins, nails and glue that they had lying around. They presented this model to the cap captain of the ship, Fritz Spies, as a gift. Um, Fritz Spies retained this model with him for most of his life. The Meteor was not originally built as a research vessel. First, it started life out as a gun light gunboat for the German Navy constructed in 1914. Under that purpose, however, it didn't find much use and sat languishing in a dock in Germany. By 1925, it was recognized that it was necessary for Germany to conduct more oceanographic research. The vessel was thus reconstructed and reassembled with modern sonar equipment to put into a role for charting the undersea uh, mounds and geography of the ocean. Um, along the ship, following along, we can see some of the features of its former history as a gunboat. Starting from the keel, you can see the anchor with the various uh, windows along the hull. Um, you can see a light deck gun aboard the ship, which was used just primarily for defensive purposes. Moving further back, we can see the brigantine sail rig, which was used to augment the triple expansion steam boiler engine, the smokestack for which we can see here. In front of that, we can see the deck accommodations and quarters, on top of which can be seen a small circular loop antenna used for early radio transmissions as well as a black spotlight behind that. Moving further back we can see there are four life rafts of different sizes too large and too small as well as one ship to shore tender seen at the back there behind the rear mast. Further back hidden inside the hull not visible to us would be the early sonar equipment mounted on the starboard side of the vessel used for mapping the ocean floor of the South Atlantic and towards the very aft of the ship we can see the German Reichs Marine flag flown on all vessels of the German Navy. I hope you enjoyed learning with us about the RSV Meteor and its scientific expeditions in the Atlantic. We look forward to showing you more of our collection next time. Thank you very much for watching and have a nice day.